Today I have a special video for you guys. So this is the very first giveaway I'm hosting on the channel and this is episode 6 of the vlog series. And this giveaway is technically the 50,000 subscribers special giveaway if you will, but I know we're at 70,000 subscribers roughly. Thank you guys for that, for the record. This video isn't sponsored by Logitech. It's it, This wasn't even provided by Logitech. I went out and bought this. The only reason I wanted to get this is to show my gratitude to y'all and for supporting me over on the channel and I thought, well, what better way than to get y'all a free keyboard, which is one of the main tools that we use as software engineers. This is the same exact keyboard that I use at this desk setup. I use it for coding, for gaming, for video editing, for anything that happens here at this desktop. So I really like it. We'll talk more about this later on in the video if you just came for the giveaway. I always leave timestamps with the rundown of what's going on in this video either in the description or in a pinned comment. So feel free to skip around. The big reason why I leave the timestamps in the vlog series videos is simply because this vlog series I just like to record anything. I want to be able to look back on these videos a year from now, two years from now, five years from now and just kind of see what was going on in my life outside of the programming world this week or this month or what have you. And although I do sprinkle in quite a bit of programming throughout these types of videos, I still like to just incorporate everything else that I have going on. So that's why I leave the timestamps below. Feel free to just go on to the giveaway and just hop around the video. Oh, and something else that I do in this series is simply talk a little bit about how work is going and whatnot. So I haven't uploaded one of these uh, vlog videos in two to three weeks. And one to two weeks ago was the very first time I ever brought my work home with me. I mean, I always bring my laptop just in case something crazy happens because I know the one time I leave it at work, I'm going to need it. So I just bring it home all the time. But a couple weeks ago, I just felt like I didn't get enough done at work and I wanted to finish up this task that I had going on. So I essentially just wanted to come home, went to the gym, came back, hung out with the wife, and then just got back on my computer. I did that for like three days in a row that week. And then last week I did it like one day, I believe. So that was interesting. I'm going to, I've been trying a little bit better to control everything. So once I leave work, I actually leave work, but sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. And today I actually survived uh, SQL help. <laughs> I use the uh, Squirrel SQL client just for the record, just feel like noting that. And today I got a request where I essentially had to, uh, to change up a few things via SQL and that was wild. Like what seemingly was maybe a 15 minute job turned out to be a two and a half hour job as well as me bringing in my lead because he, this is like his domain and I'm just kind of watching over his shoulder for the most part in terms of the SQL stuff because I'm trying to adapt into it because I haven't really been messing with much of the SQL on this project. So once I brought him in, even he was having a lot of trouble with it, even though he's the smartest developer I've ever met, but it was a hell of a job. So I'm glad I made it uh, home from that because that was interesting. I'm talking about this like it's a life or death situation because it is. But two weeks ago when I did have to take my work home with me, the weekend after paid off. Molly and I went up to Pennsylvania for a little special trip and we stayed in a super nice Homewood Suites, which is a subset of Hilton. It was just about a year old and uh, check it out. Something else I really like are when hotels are in areas like this. In nice open space, so you're not crowded by the city and you can also have your car parked right in the parking lot. That's ideal. And just after we checked into the hotel and got all settled in, it was time to go meet our new puppy. So fun fact, Molly and I decided that we wanted a boy Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever. It's a very rare breed, at least where I live. Not many people know about the dog. We didn't even know about the dog until we started to do research and whatnot last year, like mid last year. So it's been a long time coming for this dog. And the litter, instead of having uh, boys and girls, it just decided to have a litter of six girls. So we were blessed with a girl. We're still going to be getting the girl and we're incredibly excited. So this 
is the first time that we met the puppies. I mean, let's get real. You invite me to come play with six puppies, I'm there. And as you enjoy the wonderful B-roll that is three week old puppies that are just a couple days after opening up their eyes, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the history of the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever, or Toller for short. So the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever, go figure, originated in Nova Scotia in the 19th century. This dog was literally bred for duck hunting. Something that happened was hunters back in the day, they stumbled across this riverbank and they saw this fox kind of playing around on the riverbank, just being curiously active. What they noticed is that this fox was luring in ducks. For some reason, the ducks were attracted to the fox the way it was playing around. And then once the ducks got a little bit too close, a lot of the times the fox would work in a team or it would be by itself. Let's just say that the fox or foxes would have its dinner. So once the hunters observed this, they bred a dog to do the same exact thing, which is now known as duck tolling. They didn't only want to lure in the ducks, but they wanted the dogs to also retrieve the ducks. How it would work is that the toller would go up to a riverbank, just kind of being curiously active, sniffing around, running around, and that would lure in the waterfowl, the ducks, to get close enough into shooting range, the hunters would take their shot, and if they were a good shot, then the dog would go retrieve the duck, bring it back to the hunter, and then on to the next one. So that is what Molly and I are going to be doing with the dog. Not only will I be duck hunting with the dog, and the dog will act as the toller, the, the decoy, if you will, the live decoy, it'll also be a retriever, which that is very critical when it comes to duck hunting, because although you have chest waders on, you don't want to be going into the water every single time you can get a duck. And then we're also going to be having this duck be in agility runs and running with Molly. She's training for a half marathon, by the way. And it's just a perfect dog to fit into our lifestyle. And the thing about this dog is that we have a dog right now. Her name is Lucy. She's a little dog. She's a Pekingese dachshund mix. We love her to death. We adopted her seven years ago, the first summer that Molly and I started talking. Lucy, she is a lap dog, lay around the house type dog. She loves to play, but not too much. This dog, on the other hand, loves to work. If this dog didn't have a job, if it just had to be inside all day and lay around, it would literally go crazy. It would chew up everything in the house because it would have to it just needs something to exert its energy and that's why running around hunting running around doing agility running around just to run around that's what this dog is all about so I want to look forward to sharing in this vlog series with y'all more and more about how I go about training the dog as a gun dog and going through some of these agility things that Molly will be doing with her and really excited that's about to happen in about three weeks I believe is when we'll be picking up the puppy and we'll be able to have a documentation of this dog growing up, which also means I should include Lucy more and more in the videos. She's had a little little sneak peek in a few of them, but it's only fair to include both dogs. I mean, I gotta do it now. Oh, and something else cool that I got that y'all may have seen in uh, last video's thumbnail. Woohoo! These babies right here. This front one right here is CRKT. If you're any what familiar with knives, and you probably heard of CRKT, and this one is just a simple like Cabela's brand. I mean, it's not the packaging wasn't Cabela's brand, but I bought it both of these from Cabela's, and this one was just a, a cheaper one, not yet sharpened. This one did come sharpened, but uh, I, that's not a problem. Basically, I got these so I could throw them at stuff. I don't know. I, I got bored. Ugh. But besides that, let's go ahead and get on into this giveaway. So first. Let me tell you how to enter the giveaway. I'm going to be hosting this giveaway on Gleam.io. And although once you click on the link in the description, Gleam is fairly straightforward, but each one of these methods is a single way to enter into the giveaway, the sweepstakes, whatever you want to call it. So you don't have to do all of them, but you're able to do each of these, I believe, once a day for the next week. I believe that's how long I'm going to be, uh, going to be hosting this giveaway. One is subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're already subscribed, all you have to do is confirm that you're subscribed on Gleam. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and then anything else that I decide to throw in there. But those are the three main things. So I figured, since I'm gonna give something away, something I really like to do is to be able to build up my Twitter and my Instagram just in case anything crazy happens to YouTube. And that's one reason why I'm making that not a requirement, but an option to enter. It'll liken your chances if you do those things. So as far as the keyboard is concerned, like I said, this is the keyboard that I use every single day on this computer. I really like it. I understand people are very particular about their mechanical uh, key switches. This is actually the Romer G Tactile. That is a Logitech specific 
key switch. I personally like them. If you don't like them, maybe you can trade with a friend or you can sell it and that will help you afford another keyboard. It doesn't hurt my feelings. Whoever wins this, I want you to use it, but ultimately it's yours. You can do whatever the heck you want with it. You can light it on fire for all I care, but actually don't do that. Don't, don't light it on fire. But something you'll notice when you look at here is that this is a 10 keyless keyboard where they don't have the 10 keys over here, the number pad and whatnot, simply because it makes it a little bit easier for gaming and it gives you a little bit more space on your desktop. And also did I mention that this isn't, this is the exact keyboard that I'm using, but it's not the keyboard that I'm using. This is a new one. So don't think I'm giving you my old grimy, disgusting keyboard. You're getting a brand new one. Also, uh, this, I really, I was really trying to figure this out over the past few weeks between 50,000 subscribers and now. Not only was I trying to get a sponsor so I can give y'all bigger and better items than a keyboard, although I, I hope y'all are happy with this choice of a giveaway. I was also trying to figure out the laws and whatnot into doing an overseas, like international giveaway. But as far as I know, you have to be a United States citizen in order to enter the giveaway or be eligible for the giveaway. So I apologize for all of my international people. I know I have a lot of international people. I wish I could tell you something better, but until I either team up with some type of company or get bigger, I don't have the manpower right now to try to figure out all of the laws and regulations of your particular country. So I'm sorry. However, I didn't look into Canada. So if you're Canadian and you want a chance to win this, enter the sweepstakes and everything, and then if a Canadian wins, I will look further into that and see what I can do for y'all. But I know it's a lot harder because this is what I actually looked in to like India and places over there. So I'm sorry. Please don't dislike the video, please. And that's all I got for this. Something that I'm not giving away, but it's still in the packaging simply because I just got it for my birthday is this puppy right here, a GoPro Hero 7 Black. I'm stoked to use this because I had the Hero 3 Silver and that thing, eh, it was okay. It did its job for what it was for the most part, but this thing, this thing, the whole entire camera is waterproof. And this is like that super stabilized thing. So I'll be taking this on my hunting trips, fishing trips, snowboarding trips, surfing trips, all of that stuff. As long as I actually make some time to do some of those things. So expect some uh, more action packed stuff here in these videos and then in hopefully near future. I just want to get out and use it. Remember the giveaway link is in the top of the description and what you'll see on the screen right around here, you can click this button and subscribe to my channel or right over here. There's one video that is best for you. YouTube thinks that you would enjoy that video and then this other video is the last video that I uploaded. It was a Q&A video. So if you haven't checked that out, be sure to do so. There's also timestamps in that video. So if you want to just go on through some of the questions that I answered, personal and programming and computer science, head on over there. Until next time, guys. Have a good one. Peace.